it was something that we were quite keen to uh, distinguish when we were covering the uh, the Regency trial is the difference between the Hutch family and the Hutch organization. And of course, you know, there are, or there were at least members of the Hutch family that were involved on the criminal side, but there are, are certainly many, many who aren't. And it's, it's very important that people remember that. This was a, I mean, this was a particularly heinous crime uh, by the sounds of it. And in, in the sense that the judge, I think, described the CCTV footage of it as, as terrifying. Um, you spoke to the members of, or some of the members of the Hutch family, John's daughters outside the court yesterday. How was that as an experience, first of all? Yeah, well, I, I was surprised actually that they were willing to speak and I was obviously grateful that they were. Um, I mean, this is the first time, and you'll hear it later in the podcast, their own words. This is the first time that that really members of the Hutch family have spoken out. Uh, so, you know, we had a lengthy chat and we're able, you'll be able to hear directly for the first time, I suppose, the impact on them as a family. You know, we were aware back in 2016 and 2017 and 2018 that, um, you know, members of the Hutch family, their lives had been turned upside down and they had become targets. That's anyone with the name Hutch, you know, be, be it someone who is a member of, I suppose, the organized crime group or, or as you say, just an innocent family member. Uh, and these are the daughters of John Hutch. So, uh, your Rhonda, Melissa, Amy, Adrian, uh, and Natalie uh, Hutch, and they were all present there at the Special Criminal Court for the sentencing with their mother, along with their mother Vera. So Vera is the wife of the late John Hutch, and um, you know they've been there throughout the whole case. They told me, and uh, as you'll hear them describe, you know this had a profound impact. This feud on them and their lives, not just what happened to their father and to their to their their brother gareth who was murdered but they themselves became targets in that their their cars were set on fire um you know there were petrol bomb attacks at their houses um you know family members within the hutch or uh, within the hutch family have changed their surname you'll actually hear one of the daughters of john hutch describe how you know she's now raising her children and they are going up with the name hutch and you know what are their prospects for the future what are their fears because of the, the association and will they even struggle to get a job with the surname hutch um so it carries long lasting effects and you can hear that you know in what they say now they hope that the kinahan hutch feud is over vera hutch actually said that she had been we were told that the feud is over and um, yeah, family members did tell me look i mean a feud is a feud it could ignite at any time um they they're they're not necessarily saying they know for a fact that the feud is over but they think things have quietened down they've obviously quietened down and they hope now that they're going to be able to get on with their lives okay well we might as well hear that clip now i suppose so uh here are members of the hutch family outside the special criminal court what does today mean for you as a family to have him, to have Carol sentenced for 22 years? It just means that he's off the street now. He can't do what he'd done before. Uh, Traumatised families. Um, it just means it's an end to something that we've been going through for, for many years. like Seven years. Yeah. Uh, to think of the, the damage like that he has done and he has been doing for years on behalf of other people just to uh, to justify his drug behaviour. I yeah. mean, that's... that's. And he, he didn't care when he put that phone over the wall. There was a, a disabled child there. Right. Yeah. I was Mr. Literally Mr. Bullock. Do you know what I mean? Were any of you there? Yeah, me, yeah. yeah. Shame, you know, was myself and Amy. And what was that experience like for you? Horrible, obviously. horrible. I thought it was the same. This is when I got shot. So I just put my whole body over, whole body to protect her. God. And I just see him fire, 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 bullets, bullets. Just want to what lasted probably six seconds. That like... I like a lifetime. Yeah. Like because a the two of us with her and our sister. Oh my God. So, he missed, he missed us so thankfully. And he was to miss my dad as well, so... Yeah. Like, so and your dad like, ran for his life, like he... Yeah, he, he and got... mother had to run across the road as well, run by life as well. God. You know what I mean? So, it's horrendous what you want to And in that period in time, obviously, he is probably knew as a family that there was a, a threat as such, ah, yeah, or... Knew that, yeah, yeah. But even for it still to happen, happen is probably yeah, surreal, yeah. was he it? He didn't care. There's loads he of didn't care. He had trackers on. He yeah. came, he put trackers on, he took trackers off. He went home, he recharged them, he brought them back during the night, he put them back on, didn't give a shit, didn't care. Yeah. 
Like for the life of anybody else, he did not care. He put that gun over the wall mm-hmm. and he was shot. That could have been absolutely anybody, anybody in that scene. It was a high wall. He didn't care who he, didn't he hit. Care. His hand was over, so he couldn't see who he was shooting at. All I could see was bullets. Bullet, bullet, and still to this day, there's still a, a bullet hole in the wall. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So that's a, a reminder. It's a permanent of, reminder. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just disabled. And she's still, still, she's still to this day, she does this. Mm-hmm. She just goes around and shoves her around. She remembers science. it. Yeah. She's not stupid. Sure, and then she does this with her, with her hand, with so the handcuffs, to say that the police, you know, that police came and she's seen the police and police have handcuffs. And she's severely intellectually disabled, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. she still has, mm-hmm. she has a memory, yeah. May I ask you, obviously, I, I, I'm sorry for the loss of your father. Obviously, your father passed away years after, after the fact. Yeah. But what was that? Experience like for him having survived that particular oh, his experience. Was gone, like, flocked to the city and looking at CTV all day. Do you know what yeah. I mean? that end of yeah. it. We wouldn't yeah, have yeah, yeah. Right. Good. I mean, you're locked up in your own home. You may as well be in Mount Joy. You're locked up in your own home. You can't do anything. And then all he had to do like, was look at a telly, sit there 24 or 7. Look at the telly. What's that called? The CCTV. I was scared to tell watching all the time. But that was the last few years of his life. And then he's going to drink. So what else could he do? I don't put that on. I, no, I, I want that. Like, the drink was comfort. But his life was hell in a sense that he what? couldn't live this freely. His own home. Yeah. 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 For yourselves as well, was that the case? Because obviously, you know, and I'm well, familiar with it, off, unfortunately. that. He died in the end. So I mean, he's glad yeah. they never got. Yeah. So I mean, but we is always looking over your own shoulders oh, yeah. over yeah, all yeah, that always. time. Yeah. Still always. Always. Yeah. yeah. Cars going to, you don't yeah. like homes getting petrol bombed. Do you know what I mean? Fire extinguishers at your home. These are all right. girls that have done it. Not met, like yeah. all the sisters. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we're all girls. I so. mean. Why do you think yourselves were in any way ever targeted? Do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't innocent make any people. Innocent sense. People. Yeah. That's it's what just it because of the, the surname, yeah. really. Was that yeah. it? Ah, yeah, obviously, yeah. 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 And sure, look at, still to this day, you're rearing your children. Mm-hmm. But they have that surname. Mm-hmm. What outcome is, is it going to have for them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. As they got older. Mm-hmm. Are they going to get a job? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's very hard for them as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Like, as a family, you have all kind of been dragged into this, in a yeah. sense. Is that the feeling? Honestly. Yeah. 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 Um, I want to ask you about your father because, you know, people only see the headlines. Yeah. I don't, I never knew your father. I've written about him, sadly, because of the context of what happened. But to you guys, who was he? Who was John Hutch? What was he like as a, as a, as a dad? Well, he was a family man. He was a hard worker. Yeah. Worked right until the day of the yards. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That all stopped. Yeah, but you was taken from him. Yeah. You know what I mean? His whole livelihood yeah. was taken. His family was taken, like from from the start to finish. His whole family, his oh, son yeah, was brother. taken. Everything, his brother, everything, like yeah. his nephew, the whole lot. From, from the day that the field started, his life was in shambles. Mm-hmm. And oh, all and our lives. Yeah, family got the worst. Huh? Yeah, we got the worst. Blunt. The girl had died. All our cars got burned. She got petrol bombed in our apartment. My oh, cars yeah. went on fire She's for no particular reason. Cars. Two cars in the garden, gone. Mm-hmm. And as far as you're concerned, you were targeted because of oh, the, the name. Yeah. yeah. Do you think things are, 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 are different now? Yeah, uh, much quieter. Now. Much quieter, yeah. 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 Like, trying to move on with our lives now. Trying to move yeah. on, yeah. Move on as a family and past, trying to raise your yeah. kids like, without any hassle. Mm-hmm. Have you ever been given any kind of indication from the guards or anybody else that like this is over to an extent, no, or are you still no, no. very much? No, we just right. hope ourselves that it's over. We like nothing has yeah. happened. Very much died down, but yeah. well, because you, 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 your, your mother, you had, your mother had your said, I, I didn't get the full context of what she said, but she said we've been told it's over. No, is that just? No, no we haven't been told. We have just like brought them out, but family no, we have No one said anything. Yeah. You know? yeah. and as such, probably no one ever will really say. It, you well, know, it's kind of just. It's always going to. It's yeah. always going to go on. It's always going to linger, isn't it? Night at any time. For you guys personally, uh, it, was there ever a feud, or this was, in in your opinion, what was it all about? It was about? a target of a family. That's what yeah. it was. They took on a family. Yeah. Man or woman. Sorry. Man or woman. And children. Yeah. They didn't care. They didn't no. care. Or the same people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Do Do you have any thoughts on? The fact that those p- people like that would target innocent people like yourself. They just go for the innocent. They go for yeah. the people that are not able. Yeah. The vulnerable people, yeah. We're just out now, but we'll keep going to do our jobs at home. Do you have any 
contact, I suppose, with with Jared. Has he ever spoken to you about any of this? Or no, as as you said, we're, we're like we're a close knit family. We keep ourselves to ourselves. Yeah, we don't interact with other people. Mm -hmm. Like family is family, and if you see them, you see them. You say hello, you say goodbye. That's mm -hmm. it. But as a family ourselves, we put our head down, go to work, and close your door at the end of the day. And that's yeah. it. I only ask you about that because obviously he's been acquitted and I wonder whether that was something as a family where he's all kind of behind him or was it... Is oh, there, there, yeah, yeah, I wonder yeah. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Don't mention that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Pretty was happy it, for him. Was he, was he close with your dad or was there a relationship? Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, a great relationship between them. Yeah. My dad would be the oldest, anyway. Yeah. The family, his family, like... Well, I suppose is your dad being, you know... He, an innocent man going to work every day. Did he? Did he have any kind of resentment or bitter feelings about being a target or even yourselves maybe, ever? Maybe what he didn't tell us. So yeah. Then, but, but you yeah, know, he's got yeah. all caught up in it. Is what I mean. Yeah. You know, that must be very Everyone hard for you. Up, you know what I mean? This is what this is a thing. Yeah. Everyone. That's what happens when they target yeah. a family. They target the whole lot. They don't just target one person. Yeah. It's a family that they go for. Like, so, but at the end of the day, my dad was a hard worker man. He's a family man. All he done, he went to work and worked for his family, worked for his wife, worked for his mm. children. Mm. Especially his, his daughter with disabilities, like yeah. constantly looking after her, looking out for her. And, but other than that, like he, he was great, absolutely great. Well, I'm sorry for your loss. I know that might not mean anything coming from a reporter. I understand we get a bad rap, but yeah. uh, you know, in the end of the day, we, we've always said, you know, anyone, anyone that's targeted, anyone that's you know, is an innocent victim, no matter what the context or whatever, you, that doesn't come into it. As far as I'm concerned, no one deserves to be looking over their shoulder, no, no. to be shot at, to be targeted. That's so, what you're doing, you're looking over their shoulder 24-7. You know, like, we also sorry, have cameras in our houses, you know what I mean? You as well, yeah. Um, like, yeah. We're still, like, you're still yeah, looking you over your shoulder. you go out your garden, you get into your car, you're obviously you're constantly looking and looking.